y'all. Hey, welcome to Wine Now Wednesday. It's your girl, Kai. I'm TNT. And we are... Two dope black women. Tasting, discussing, and spilling tea over wine. Over wine. Yeah. Welcome back. Day 15 of Vlogmas. Yeah. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? I think so. Yeah, I like it. Are y'all having fun? Because we're having fun. We're filming in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> we have magic box, which, if I'm remembering correctly, we would do them day one or two. Yes, one. We like their the shirt day. Um, so this is a Pinot Noir from them for 2021. And it's 12.5% from France. See if the barcode gives us anything additional information. The price is $11.99 for a bottle. Um, it says, as product highlights, an outstanding overperforming wine with an intense ruby red color. Elegant and complex. This Pinot Noir has bright acidity and silky tannins. Enjoy its pleasant flavors with of small red fruits, spices, and vanilla. It's a light one. Vanilla? Y'all know I love vanilla. It's supposed to be medium bodied, paired mm -hmm. well with beef, pork, and chicken. It smells like vanilla. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. Like I love a, a good vanilla. Like cake. a vanilla you cook with? Mm. Let's go. I like vanilla. It is silky. Oh, yeah. It's like satin on your tongue. Like if you slide a satin pillowcase across your tongue. My description's be out of the trouble. <laughs> it <does. laughs> I think this will be a crowd, um, crowd pleaser Pinot Noir. So is the Chardonnay from Magic Box. So yeah. maybe they just have some really great, even balance. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Even kill wine. Magic Box likes to. Um, I. Now, you might not think twelve dollars is a lot for a bottle of wine, but if you buy as much wine as we buy, that's a lot. Magic Box need to lower their price to about four dollars. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm just playing. It's worth it. It's worth it. The Chardonnay, though, for me, I'm going to get a bottle. I don't know if that's going to be today. But I'm definitely going to get a bottle. I do need to go over that way. But anyway, yeah, I like it. It's silky. It's smooth. It doesn't have high tannins. It's real light. Very light. This would be a good transition red away from sweets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. I buy a full size bottle. Would you? No, because I I have I've I'm aware of other yeah you know the ones that are quality. Great. You know, that's fair. So Magic Box, we're not gonna buy yours. Me. But I will, you know, buy that Chardonnay. Yeah, that's oh, I'm buying a Chardonnay. I'm absolutely yeah. buying it. That is happening. I went and looked that one up on purpose because I'm buying it. And I had some more of that Sauvignon Blanc one, and I wasn't as excited about it after the fact, but it still had that honey. So you know, yeah. if a wine got a honey finish to it, I'm gonna always go for it. Question. For day 15 vlogmas. Do you have a hidden talent? No. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You got, to. <laughs> you got to have something that you know how to do that people would not expect that you know how to do and you do it well, but it's not something that you even knew you know how to do. Hmm? You got a hidden talent. You know, she, I'm going to let her think about it. I think I have two. One, I am really good at building things. Surprisingly, I know how to put anything together. Anything. I think I could build a house if you gave me a manual. I know how to build. I know how to put things together. Everything. Like, it's, it's surprising to a lot of people, but um, almost everything in our house, I built. <laughs> Except the house, furniture, uh, all kinds of stuff. I'm really good at putting things together. So then my second 
hidden talents is something that had to be brought to my attention because a lot of times we do things very well and we just think everybody can, but we don't realize that it's a hidden talent. I'm really good at building relationships with people. Yeah, and, um, and, and when you think about your talents, that wouldn't be one you would think about. A lot of times when we think about talents, we think about singing, dancing, um, acting, um, all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, those would be my two hidden uh -huh. talents. Yeah, um, Barbara the Builder, if you... No, I don't want to be Barbara the Builder, because if y'all watch Sprinkle Sprinkle, Barbara the Builder is not a good thing. I am not Barbara the Builder. Barbara the Builder is not good. Okay. And I'll subscribe to Sprinkle Sprinkle. Okay. Come on, Shira. Shira. I like her. I like her a lot. Um, on that same note, I would say my hidden talent is... I... So I'm going to say something that she might think is just normal, and it's not. Um, her hidden talent to me is... Kai is very good at putting together a visual. She's very good at putting that stuff on. Like, she can curate a look that is phenomenal. And a lot of people can't do that. So, whereas you think it's just normal, and this is what I'm talking about, about hidden talents. It's things that we think is just everyday. Oh, that's just normal. But the way you put together an outfit and in a, in a, in a look, like a head to toe. I'm talking about head to toe. It's remarkable. Like, she'll put a piece from me. And then the crazy thing be, where did you get that from? That'd be the whole thing. Like, if y'all saw our uncorked um, wine tasting video, she had that Brandon Blackwood coat on. And the way she put it together with the other stuff that she paired it with, it's like, dude, where did you even get this? She, a look. She fashionista. I've caught, and this has been since she was a kid. Like, she was that kid that her mama would buy her brand new clothes and she would never wear them because she didn't wear them. And then, next thing you know, she can't fit it. <laughs> and my auntie would be so mad. Well, you have to buy things that people like. But she was four. <laughs> so, ever since she was a little kid, she has always been able to, she always knew what she liked. And she's always been able to curate a look that is just like, damn, where you get that from? I'm like, oh my God. And it's just like, she is that one person that no matter where she goes, she's always getting compliments. Like, from the day, from the moment she leave her house to the moment she get back home that night, it's compliment, 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 compliment. It's like, because her looks be amazing. So, being a fashionista or a fashion girl, or a girl that knows how to curate a good look. That's your I don't think I'm a fashion girl, though. I think I love... No, see, you think because you don't be buying the Gucci this and the Louis Vuitton that, that you're not a fashion girl. It don't have to be these huge designers in order for you to be a fashion girl. I think I just like to curate, curate my outfits to fit the aesthetic of the event or, you know. Whatever I'm but everybody can't do that. Everybody can't do that. That's a talent. That's her hidden talent. Final word. <laughs> All right. Well, we will see you guys for day 16. And Christmas is coming. It's coming really fast. I hope we get a chance to do Friends Miss. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't think this year is going to be a Friends Miss year. Oh, I don't. But we will be celebrating one of our friends. Just not in us in the in any event in which you guys will be present for. So, cheers! Cheers to that. Cheers to friends. Cheers to friends and friends, Miss.